Well, welcome back. We are in this mirror again today. And I wonder what we're going to talk about with this intermittent fasting, weight loss, or whatever journey that you are on. We are going to talk about your day going along fine and great, and all of a sudden, you got to make a hard decision. It just ruins your whole day. And then you know what's going to happen because it happened to me last week is you're going to overeat or undereat. You're going to not eat in your windows at all. It's going to really just can ruin your whole day. And some people, it may not. But for me, it did destroy that day. And it also caused me to eat out the window. I just forgot about the window and I just ate. I didn't do like a binge eating as some of all of us know really. I just did eat when I was supposed to. So confession time. But I just wanted to start this off to say that making a big decision can also affect your eating. And I always talk about that. It's just not about the food. It is a lot of the stuff that happens in your life. So we are going to get this video started and here we go. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Hey. Okay, I am back, back, back. And you know what I do? We always do show that little body. Okay, and I got on my little jumpsuit, and you know how I tie my little scarf. And we make two outfits out of one and save us some money because that's what we do now because everything is expensive. But uh, show the love. My little hiney in the back, my waistline, and you know my top. It never changes, okay? <laughs> but as we were talking before, we're going to talk about making hard decisions. And I did that on my live, which I have every Tuesday at 4.15 Eastern Standard Time. And I thought that um, I would bring it up on my intermittent fasting because that can make you overeat, okay? For sure, it can, it can really put a habit in your diet. You either under eat or overeat or just go out the window and forget everything that you learn and that weight's gonna come right back on. And I like two K bites. Um I seen her on was it weightlifting geek? I think it was weightlifting geek live. And maybe it wasn't but what she talked about because she does a little mukbang and she put on a little weight and she's still pretty. <laughs> and um, I always say it's our perception of how it could she look cute to me and oh it was her going to work on her life and she was saying that you know she had to make some changes and we all have to make some changes okay and that's what it was about and that is what it's about but what I want to talk about is it happened to me last week or the week before now i'm getting confused but i was having a good day you ever have a good day where everything is going right i had filmed two videos i had edited one of them and it was going great all that day while the sun was up once the sun went down <laughs> i received a message and it just tore me down from that end on because that was on my mind all the time. At first I wasn't hungry, okay? And then later on that night, I was hungry. It was like right after my window was open. So I ate, I didn't binge, like I said, I because I, I know what a binge is, honey. That take you eat until you can't stop. But and I ate out my window that night and I just kept thinking about it. Even my sister said, you've been thinking on this for two days. She said, you need to go ahead and just make a decision. And I always say a decision is like tick-tock, 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 
like the clock is running out and it's in your mind. Okay, and that's what it was. Tick tock, tick tock for about three days. <laughs> but I did end up making a decision and I felt so much better. But still, I cannot say that that is completely gone away of me thinking about it. But I feel a lot better once I got that off my shoulders, okay? So, what I'm saying is, if you're having a problem, give it time. Think about it. Don't act on it right then. And that's usually what I do. And now I am changing that. I wait at least 24 hours. I think Martin of UK said, it might have not have been Mark, Martin, I get everybody mixed, I think it might have been Bill Lou, that he waits at least two or three days before he makes a decision. Because it can cause so much stress. And then you can get sick. And then you can get depressed where you just don't want to do anything. So do not take that long to make that decision and do not procrastinate and I will be back in a little bit and you know I just dance on my Friday at BJ spot that's where you at you at BJ spot cuz I know most of us don't go out on Friday nights so we have to come to BJ spot and I will see you in a minute Okay, I'm back. I am back. Okay, now we know that a big decision, even little decisions, can bring havoc in our lives and it can throw off our eating where it makes us overeat or undereat for days and also go out of that window. So, what we want to do is we're not going to be like that clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We are going to make a decision. And if you can wait 24 to 48 hours to make that decision, I'm telling you, it will be clearer. And talk to someone you really trust, not someone that tells everybody else. And, you know, get some information if they can help you in that decision. Because if you talk to too many people, you're going to be more stressed out. Then you're going to eat more. <laughs> so, but anyway... What you want to do, and I told even on my live on, on, um, on Tuesday, was I decided to Google it. Yes, I did. We Google everything else, don't we? <laughs> How to make a hard decision. And I came up, and I believe it was Colin Powell. It's one of those generals. And to me, generals are all the same. And um, he said he does not make a decision unless he has, if he only has 40%. He does not make a decision on it. So what he does, if he gets 70%, he'll make a decision. So that's the 40-70% rule. So what I did after I read that, because it just that just hit, and that's what happens sometimes. And I went back and I said, you know what? I have 100%. So just let me go and make this decision. Did it feel good? No. But after I made it, the weight did come off my shoulders and I felt so good the next day. How I'm going to end this is just know we always going to have a decision to make. We always going to have those holidays. We always going to have those anniversaries. We always going to have those vacations. So we're going to have to learn that when we're in that moment to try our best to stay in our windows, I stay on course of what we always do and to keep that stress out of your life. And the ones of you that have subscribed to me, I thank you so very much. And the ones that have not, why? Why haven't you? I'm a great creator. I am consistent. I will be here for you. And if you have any questions, you can put it down in the comments. Or I am over at Instagram. You can leave me a DM. I love saying DM. <laughs> and I would answer it to the best of my ability. And if I don't know it, then I will get the information and try to answer you later. But once again, you know what I'm going to say. Babe, been stuck here in the bed for days. I've been staring at the